Kaito is supposed to be the new Oko, but Kaito is nowhere to be seen, much like my peen. So the question on everyone's mind, does Kaito suck balls? That's what we're here to find out. First of all, I gotta say, Wizards has a lot of horrendous stuff. Drinking car shops and buying crappy products, putting profits above the health of formats. Three hours later. Screwing car shops over by selling directly online. Talking to players like we're children. So if someone says that Wizards of the Coast is the Antichrist, it's pretty hard to prove them wrong. However, Wizards has done so well on the artwork, I want my cars to look sexy. And the sexiness of these cars make me happy in pants. But now back to Kaito. He loves us to discard. But if we attack with a creature, we straight up draw a card. Up in Kaito to four loyalty. And as an added bonus, he initially phases out to protect himself. And if we're really desperate, we can make an unblockable token. And perhaps the perfect home for Kaito is in an incarnation deck. We can turn one to grief, discarding our opponent, but then reanimate grief to discard opponent yet again. However, the problem with grief decks is that we empty our hand in the process. But now we can attack with grief and draw a card to return to Kaito. But it gets even better. We can turn one ravioli, turn two attack and make a treasure, along a turn to Kaito. How epic is that? Then there's Void Walker, just off our opponent's graveyard, and we can sack a player opponent's stuff on top of being unblockable, which is also perfect for Kaito. And then there's Furry, also great to reanimate. And then removal, removal, more removal, discard value, and all around value. And now on the sideboard, we have Burn Discard Hate, Control Deck Hate, more removal, Land Hate, and my new favorite friend, Hitasuku. It wipes the weenies, exiles graveyards, before finally flipping into creature. It does it ravioli and Croxa, but I absolutely love it. That is the deck now let's get to the gameplay. Be sure to subscribe, because when we reach 69,000 subscribers, Daddy will be doing an extra special giveaway. And now off we go. Opening oh, hand, we have the combos we're gonna keep. Grief. Oh, and it looks like hammer time. Take Mystic. Her birth. And take Sentinel. Ornithopter. And then passes back. And Colgan's command. Nice. Get over three. Back to opponent. Oh, and Urza Saga. Colossus Hammer. Well, then opponent passes. And Dungy of Lil' K. That could be really good with Furry. But in the meantime, get over three. And pass back to opponent. Oh, Ink Moth. We'll hit him with Colgan. Hooray. We'll get over three. Play a land. And opponent makes a construct. Another one. And opponent grabs Shadow Spear. And play Sentinel. They fist us for four. And come on, red card. Hooray. And now everyone's favorite time. Furry time. And Dungy Evil. And the Mega Wipe. Saga. The new reality chip. They can equip it to cast stuff on the their deck. But right now it's just an 04. And they don't even equip. So they're probably just gonna animate this. The swing. Opponent chumps. So it goes down the four. Opponent has a hammer. And ravioli. And because we can dash it in, our opponent's butt cheeks are ours. So we're gonna give two. And it's not gonna be a good day for our opponent because we're bringing in all this. And now we're on to game two. But is this good enough? I don't think so. We'll mull. And now hit a sugu. I suppose we can keep this. Fire Mancer, meh. We'll play land and pass. Another sentinel. And we take one. Another void walker for us. Play it. Oh, and there's a saga. Hammer. And opponent swing for two. Very suspicious. And this be a little tricky. I think the best option, get number three. We'll play a creature and try and find Hitasugu. That's not Hitasugu. But at least we have some blockers. Ornithopter. And <laughs> oh my gosh, they're stuck on two lands. I really want to play our walker though. But I think we can wait one more turn. So that way we can pay the tax. Swing. Opponent takes five. And it's back to opponents. Opponent finds drum. Plays Ink Moth. Oh, I'm here still Paladin. This is problem. They attempt to equip Sentinel. And even if we kill Sentinel, Paladin lets them equip for zero. So we'll send Paladin to Jesus, hanging the Sentinel tax. Although now they have a chunky creature. Opponent swings will chump. And come on, something good. I'm dying evil. Oh, you could use it on Void Walker. We we'll play the Urza Saga. I really want to play Kaito. So we shall swing. Play Kaito. We'll let them draw. We shall draw. And darn, not what we're looking for. Okay, Dreadmore. Oh, another Pure Soul Paladin. Equipping Ornithopter. And if not swings at us, Lantern for Graveyard Hate. But it really doesn't matter. I want to equip Sentinel. And I'll get him for five. A lot of opponent trades. We could make some tokens. I think the safer option. Draw. Not really what we wanted. And instead of Power Mancer, we'll play Foam Foam and pass back to opponent. I want to play another Ink Moth. Follow Foam Foam. We can take out the lands whenever we want. And bring it back with Undying Evil. I want animates. Animating the wrong land. Unfortunate for them. But not that it matters. Because block. Our opponent gets a card draw. Oh, but path to exile. Better that than void walker. We shall sack. Now our opponent draws. They must know they're in trouble. Because now it's back to our turn. And what a great way to finish. It is Sugu. Our token will die in the process. But so are our opponent's hopes and dreams. Take over three. Draw. And there's a concede. The clapping can be heard from a mile away. Our poor, poor opponent, but great for us. Because we're off to a fantastic start. And now it's on the next match. Opening hand, no combo. The turn on Inquisition will keep. Inquisition. Oh, until draws a tron. And they have a temple to ramp. Take his number and pass. Ravioli nice. Light and pass. Oh, lucky top deck. And this feels bad. But we could furry here. Just so we can play Kaito. Yeah, we'll furry. Reshaper dies. And opponent finds Ugin. Get in with Ravioli. And now Kaito. Draw. And we look in dummy thick. Opponent passes. And don't we have something special here? They first swing. Tickling our opponent's cheeks for two. And now draw. And the land. Perfect. Because grief time. And very risky here. Our opponent finds another land. They can play the reality smashers next turn. But also Karn. Smashers are the most pressing threat. So we'll take it and pass. Oh, and no land for opponents. Which means more fun times for us. It's for five. Draw. Furry, that's good. Good. And then grief, taking reality smasher. And there's a concede. Such greatness. I'll go one game, so we're gonna full pull without something too. Opening hand, one land and no combo. We'll mole. And yeah, this is okay. We'll keep. Grief. And there's chalice. Good thing we dump some more one drops. Oh, and more lands. We'll pass. Not a reshaper. Furry. But if we play Pyromancer here, what do we dump? Foam foam? I mean, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. Pyromancer. Yikes. That that not good. Because chalice be very stinky. Apollo has this card. And we choose a card to put in our opponent's hand. We'll give them the wipe because our lands are terrible. Pyromancer, that's pretty good. Well, let's first swing at Karn. Opponent sure. Finding another reshaper. Oh. All right, play grief. And take out their other Karn. Now it's back to opponents. Oh, opponent digs for more cards. We have to give them one of these. We'll let them have 
ballista. I want to place ballista. We'll try and take out the car in here. That won't be easy. In the lane, that's good. Funker three. I want to play Cox double blocks. Hanging our weenies. Hiding blast zone. Do we just go for the furry or play Pyromancer? I think we got a furry. So here comes the furry. Four Karn, but Karn still has three left and one land away from all those dust. Oh, I'm find this member. And Rowdy Smasher. Oh, that's pretty stinky. Grief taking all his dust. And his back opponent. Oh, I guess the land. This is for five. Down the three. And a flum flum. Okay. Not super helpful. We'll play Pyromancer. Dumping our weenies. And not what we we're looking for. We'll make the best of it. Finish off Karn. Play Flum Flum. Our Rally Smash has Trample. And our opponent ups the Blast Zone. I guess we could have sacked the Flum Flum to stop Blast Zone from firing. But at this point, they have us. Start going in game three. Going in game three. We're not going to ravioli. We're not going three. Oh, going ham. Got the one two punch. So we're going to keep. Play ravioli and pass. Oh, and pass is what a loser. Get it for two. And now play Kaito. Draw. Now we'll see what our opponent's got. Or the Saga. Playing Bulls the Lame. Land, okay. Now if we try to swing here, I'll stop us before the attack. Now what? They don't? Okay. But now we can draw. Oh, good, okay. Then go Pyro Answer. Just and draw. Oh, but it's a thought. Taking our Dread Boar. Well, here's what we'll do. Get over two. Will our opponent block, knowing that we have Culligan? No, they do not. They'll draw. Another land. We'll play Ravioli and pass. Opponent finds Expedition Map. Cracks it. Finding Power Plant. And no attacks from our opponent. Huh. Oh, and Furry. Nice. Drop the Furry. Taking out the thoughts. Draw. And Lightning Bolt for us. And uh oh. Opponent can make a lot of mana here. All is dust. So there goes our board. Opponent plays Relic and takes out Graveyards. Power Master. Okay. How will we play Power Master? Feels bad. Dumps the lands. Okay, not bad. Pass and Ravioli. Swing. Play Voidwalker and pass. Pugan Pugan. Another thought. And this shall be mega close. Taking Colgan and killing Voidwalker. And they play Karn. Making a token. How will we play Ravioli? Swing at Ugan Pugan. Come on, block with the thought. Hooray. Oh, thought. Rebirth Pyromancer. Drawing a land. Oh no, we're so close. We're one land short of playing furry. And taking out both of their planeswalkers. Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll settle for grief. Oh, they have a land in hand. No. But you know what they say. It's not over till the fat lady queefs. Oh, another jumper. And another grief. Kind of risky. But go after Ugan Pugan. On trades. So lose his Ugan. Getting a card in hand. But now play furry. And finish off the Karn. Okay, let's see if our opponent can get this one. Four cards in hand and a ton of mana. Expedition map. I need Blast Zone. So they can take out Ravioli. Oh, and Reality Smasher. They're not making this easy. And Full Full, not bad. And this could be risky. Let's swing out. Opponent cracks the Blast Zone. Blocks there. And could just shut off their lands. We'll instead try for Grief. Oh, two lands in hand. Come on, we're so close. A home passes. Another Full Full. This for five. One Full Full. Taking out the land. Another Full Full. And there's a concede. That was a battle. And now our spanking continues. Oh, playing hand, we can flick a furry. So we shall keep. Oh, and a burn. Terrible match. Up for us. Oh, this monastery. Imperfect and dying evil. Play furry. Bring back furry. And furry be a 4 4. Lava spike. Skewer. Oh, and grief. Full oh, of grief. And there's a concede. That was easy. Going on game. So let's bring a ley line on the wide point. That was hitting two. Oh, putting hand. Ley line. We shall keep. Elven guide. But no land for us. We'll play land and pass. Oh, and vortex. That hurts our incarnations. And nice land for us. Voidwalker. We'll put out ravioli. And draw all the removal. Monastery. And lightning bolt. How unexpected. Oh, swings. And oh, not a land. Now the question is do we want a furry here? Vortex will hit us for five. But furry would be a 4 Four. We can't play anything else this turn, so we might as well furry. Bring back furry, and then pray for a miracle. Oh, one passes. Oh, but no land for us. We'll go for it. So this vortex will be chipping away at us. Monastery. So we're going game three. Opening hand, ley line. We'll try it. Not Ravioli and pass. Oh, and lightning bolt. And Kaito. Back to opponent. One plus monastery. And then dying evil. That's pretty good. Now I just need a red card. And then maybe looking dummy thick. Oh, swings for one. And passes. There is a red card. But opponent's lands untapped. Furry is too risky. Hold red roar. And pass back to opponent. Now a lot of opponent puts Lurus in hand. Okay. We should play void. Walker and pass our point. And here comes Loris Wonderful. All we need is a red card. Come on. Oh, great. Check out the sexiness. Furry. Bring back Furry. And with Loris in exile, sack Voidwalker. Play Loris. And we cast Ravioli. Longer two. We find Lightning Bolt. I kind of want to use the treasure for Kaito. But how can we turn down a bolt? And our opponent better regroup here. Oh, Sanctifier. That very good. But on the bright side, swing. Play Kaito. Draw. Furry, not bad. Then put out Ravioli. Oh, I'm half exile. Sure. Upon this report comes down. Taking out Loris. Skewer. And upon gets in for two. Voidwalker. Or Furry. Or First up, Kaito. Dump. Play Voidwalker. And it's back home and small. Searing boys. Taking Kaito down to two. And Sanctifier finishes it off. Vortex. Oh, a land. All right, play Furry. But that Sanctifier is very much in the way. Another Vortex. And another land. Oh my gosh. Monastery. Opponent passes. And Voidwalker. Not bad. I'm getting pretty nervous here. I'm almost getting pretty low as well. Opponent passes. Furry. Game with the Voidwalker. Play our Furry. And does our opponent have an answer here? Oh, shoot. They swing. They can't really do anything. But it's all Ockbarring here. And they do all Ockbar. I don't know how we won that. But we can really use Dress on for our sideboard. To take out Sanctifier. Or at least another energy explosives. But now it's on to the next match. Oh, putting ham. Got the grief combos we're gonna keep. Play grief. Oh, once a merc tried deck. We'll first take furry. Undying evil. And do we want unholy heat or counter spell? I suppose unholy heat. And hope our opponent stays stuck on one land. Upon his bubble. And it passes back to us. Oh, on a land, but not the one we need for Voidwalker. Very tragic fist for four. Upon his land and keeps counter spell at the ready. Another Voidwalker swing and pass back. Oh, iteration. Finding a land. And place channeler. And a land, okay. Spanker opponent down to five. Put out Voidwalker. And how will our opponent get out of this?
this one. Oh, lightning bolt. That's pretty racist. I'll close out the rat for three. But then passes back. Now I still have counter spell. So we must be careful. Swing for three. Bluff with Pyromancer. Upon counters. So we still have undying evil thirty. Final fetch is down the one. Plays furry. But the furries can't save them. Because Void Walker comes back. Hooray. So we're going to game two. Going on game two. So we're going to all this for all this one. Last game two. Opening hand. We have the furry combo. But everything else is pretty balls. I think we'll maul. Oh, and his Fugu. That would be pretty kinky. So we'll keep. Upon has Ravioli. Oh, and we have Ravioli. We'll draw it upon his removal. And yep, there's removal. Again for two. And she was not to play Lightning Bolt. Interesting. So I don't make that idea. Hot Seas. Oh, it's Paul Pierce. So let's go for his Sugu next turn. Here comes Ravioli. Pawn considers. And that's a lot of mana open. But we'll go for it. Hey, Sugu. Oh, we see counter. Yeah, there's counter. But luckily, we have another one for next turn. Ravioli comes in. Season Pyromancer. Will they play that? No, Iteration. Playing Bobble and please play the Pyromancer. Oh, they don't. They probably have counter then. Oh, but okay. Hey, Sugu. They do have more counter. I want to get some for two. Finds Furry. Oh, no. The Furries have turned against us. And yep, they have us. Throw one game three. Go on game three. Swap this for this one. Last one three. Oh, putting a hand is terrible, old mole. Eh, no grief combo, but I guess we'll keep. Play land and pass. And here comes Ravioli. We find Furry. I want to get some for two. But then passes. Try for his Sugu. Pawn considers. Plays another consider. Come on. Oh, Lightning Bolt. Sure. So no Ravioli for them. But I could play Murktide here. I'll play consider. And there's Murktide. This is very troubling. I think our best shot is this. Fire Answer. And try and get Undying Evil. No. Chandler. Duration. And there's Furry. Wiping just like Mama does for me. And nope, opponent has us. But that's how it goes sometimes. And now it's on to the next match. Opening hand, no combo. And our opponent's a Loris deck, but I think we can Thought Seize here. We'll keep. Thought Seize. Oh, and this hammer time again. We'll take some Fortune Pass. Smart Thopter. Oh, and Cigar to Zade. That's a pretty good top deck. And Voidwalker, cool. Play Voidwalker and pass. Oh, nice Paladin. And then passes. What? We should bolt. Get over three. And it's back to opponent. And opponent passes. What is this? Witchcraft. Are they going to flash in Lion Sash? With two opponents in our graveyard? Lion Sash can't get that big. But they could buff Ornithopter. And that would be kind of annoying. But I think we can race our opponent. Voidwalker. Lion Sash. And the buffing begins. Oh, and cracks a bobble. Last one more time. But now Gregor is be empty. Ravioli. Spank for six. Like Ravioli. And our opponent gives up. Going into game two. Let's bring in this for this. And we'll have something too. We'll open a hand. We do have a furry rebirth combo. But that leaves only one land. Sure, we'll keep. Sentinel. And a land. Nice. Tempting to turn one furry. We'll wait until next turn. Bobble. I want to get some for one. Oh, we'll play Sanctifier. That shuts off our rebirth. We'll play land and pass. I want to get some for three. Ink Moth. And what's Lars in hand already? I think our best shot. Last we'll opponent's lands. Lars comes out and they get that bobble. Oh, as long as we can't block. And play Shadow Spear. And we pull Inquisition. Not super ideal. But swing. Drop furry. Wiping our opponent's booty. High toe. Draw. And that's not bad. We shall pass. Oh, Cigar to Zade. If they equip a Sanctifier with a hammer, then our butt cheeks are clapped. No, they don't have it. Although they do have Versa Saga. But here's what we'll do. We find the Saga. Oh, it's Ornithopter. And then hooray for us. Hisugu. Make blue token. And pass back to opponent. Oh, prismatic ending. They have an ink moth. And send Kaito to Jesus. Oh, another Cigar to Zade. There are cards in their hand. Not a ton of options. Okay, Kaito. Make a ninja. Pass back to opponent. They swing. And play another Sanctifier. Oh my gosh. So good against us. Swing for one. Draw. But no matter what we do here, our opponent has us pinned. And there's a hammer. So we're going game three. Going in game three is when I thought season without going three. Oh, opening hand's pretty good. Turn one grief. Turtle lands with his Sugu. Yeah, I'll keep grief. Taking Sanctifier. Rebirth. Into hammer. And now it's back to opponents. Also guard his aid. Bolt, sure. Game number three. From. And I'll be back to us. Not a land. Swing for three. Found his Loris in hand. And get back hammer. Or even Sanctifier. And there's a land hooray. Game number three. Found it was a six. Oh, Ornithopter. Loris. This is maximum stinkiness. I get back Sanctifier. Look at Loris. And it's back to us. And not a land. A few options, though. You can look at their hand with grief. Yeah. It's like Kirstie. And Dreadful Ornithopter. And put our opponent at two. Oh, it's gotta have a good top deck here. Oh, Shadow Spear. That's pretty lucky. But if we hit a land, that'll turn things in our favor. Come on, land. Ow. Oh, Come on, get him for three. Oh, it's back at two. Oh, this feels so bad. Uh, Life Link. Oh, and Thought Seize. I don't think we can risk playing it. Pass for opponent. Come on. Go down to four. They play Esper Sentinel. And we really, really need to land here. Please. Oh my gosh. What? It's stupid. Because no matter what, our opponent has us. And there's a land, but unfortunately, we play his so good. But our opponent kills us on the crackback. Oh, and that's all here. So, okay. That really should have been a win for us. But the magic gods be like that sometimes. Very tragic. So, 3 2 overall. I think Kaito's really cool. The deck, however, a bit of a glass cannon. But we won't give up just yet. If you have any suggestions for a Kaito deck, you can share it in the comments below. And until next time, stay to me thick.